Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get IMEI number in your Android app. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one button and text view in our app. So button is for clicking action that will show IMEI number in text view. Okay. And this is one of those programs that you need to test on real device instead of emulator. I do have emulator running which you can use for testing your code but the best option for checking IMEI number is to test your code in a real device okay so make sure your real device is connected and you can go through all the code explained in this video and run it on your real device okay so open your activity underscore main dot xml and let's add one button Okay, so let's add a button and let's set its width and height to wrap content. Okay, so layout with wrap content, layout height. Next thing, let's also add ID, Android ID, add the red plus ID slash and here I'm going to use button one as ID. You can also add text to that Android text then action ads get IMEI okay so once you do that you get to display your IMEI number in text view for that you will add text view set it to wrap content for both layout width and height and make sure you add Android ID for this as well Okay, so let me add ID as text view one. We have button one and text view one added. Now, one important thing here is to add one line inside your Android manifest file. Uses dash permission. And inside Android name, you need to type Android. Okay, so we need to find out here read phone state okay once you add that you will be able to read your device id now you can read this and add this in your file as well okay now let me add a private instance for button Also, I want to add text view, but I'm not going to make it private. So just text view, text view, then telephony manager, okay, DM, and let's make one string named as IMEI, okay. Now, once you have these things inside your protected void on create method. We're going to use button equals to button and then find view by ID. Okay, so let me wait for suggestion here R ID and button one. Okay, and next thing text view equals to text view and then find view by id r id dot text one okay and one more thing here is we have to set context for our telephony manager instance as well so tm equals to telephony manager and here we call for get system service okay so get system service and for string I'm gonna use context dot here let's find out telephony service you are telephony service okay now 
next thing we go use imei string to get tm dot get device id okay now i want to use button action to display this now i'm going to use button dot set on click listener and here i'm going to use new view dot on click listener and inside public void on click view up zero and this if i am ei not equals to null then text view dot I want to set the text so I'm going to use def set text and here I'm going to use IMEI number and then I will concat with IMEI string okay so this should display our IMEI number whenever button is clicked so this is all you have to do and this should show you your IMEI number now if you want to get sim card number so this is for imei number and for sim card number you need to use let's say tm dot get sim serial number okay i have commented this part out so that when running this code it should not show two instance for that so you can also set one more string variable for that let's say if you want to use string sim num okay and if i use here adds sim num equals to the code that we just created right now okay Okay. now here you can set another text view set text and then you can go for slash n then plus for let's say what this says sim serial number and then concat with same num okay so this should show you the IMEI number and sim number okay so this is the code that you are supposed to execute in real device so i'm not going to run this in my emulator because emulator won't be able to show these details it will just r run some null numbers Okay, so go ahead and test this in your real device.